An Introduction to Feng Shui Feng Shui is an ancient Chinese practice that has been around for thousands of years and which involves art and science. The practice relies on the laws of heaven and earth to help people balance their energies or qi within a space, help them become and stay healthy, and to receive good fortune. The word feng means wind and shui means water. Local Chinese people place wind that is gentle and water that is clear in one setting to represent good health and harvest. Feng Shui is an ancient Chinese practice that has been around for thousands of years and which involves art and science. The practice relies on the laws of heaven and earth to help people balance their energies or qi within a space, help them become and stay healthy and to receive good fortune. The word feng means wind and shui means water. Local Chinese people place wind that is gentle and water that is clear in one setting to represent good health and harvest. Feng Shui comes from the Taoist ideals in order to deal with nature. Taoism, which has a strong influence in Asia, combines religious and philosophical beliefs and is also responsible for birthing yin and yang concepts. Yin and yang deal with opposite aspects of a phenomenon or the comparison of two phenomena. It represents quality with regard to correspondence, which is found in most areas of Chinese science and philosophy. An example of this would be ancient Chinese medicine. When doing a feng shui analysis, the compass and bagua, which is a grid that is created in the shape of an octagon, are used. This grid has symbols of the I Ching, and in order for you to connect the areas of your home with feng shui, you need to understand the concept of bagua. Bagua literally means eight areas and which works to gain additional information about a location. The magnetic needle is surrounded by concentric rings that are strategically placed and used to open the mysteries of the universe. For you to understand the entire process of feng shui, you have to start at the most basic level and only then will you get phenomenal results. Once you start using it, you will want to continue to use it on a regular basis within your home and business. Methods of Feng Shui Learning Feng Shui is not as easy as people may think, as it can take several years to get the hang of it. You should always start from the beginning with the basics, and then make gradual steps to the more advanced phases of Feng Shui. Here are some things you can implement to get you started. Air and light of good quality. In order to master the principles of Feng Shui, you should have good quality air and light. When you incorporate both of these, you will benefit from having good qi. Allow natural light into your home or office and open windows frequently. Investing in some air purifying plants is also a good idea. Use a Bagua compass to activate the energy map in your home or office. You will find out which areas or rooms are connected with the Feng Shui concept when you connect with your Bagua. Eliminate clutter. Discard everything that doesn't mean anything to you or that reminds you of bad events or feelings in your life. Once this is done, you will feel like a heavy burden has been removed from your shoulders, and this will also make it easier for you to move to the next phase. The Five Elements You need to get familiar with the five elements of Feng Shui, and for certain areas of your home or office, some elements will need to be stronger. This depends on what area you are looking to implement Feng Shui, and on what you are trying to attract in your life. Birth Element Wood and fire are considered elements, and you will need to incorporate along with that a corresponding color and shape. Cures. When engaged with feng shui, you will need cures in order to have a better life. There are different things that can be used to achieve this. Here are five of them. One, aquariums. Two, fountains. Three, crystals. Four, colors. Five, clocks. The five elements of feng shui. The principle of five elements is important to the concept of feng shui as they work in certain ways in accordance with the rotation of the productive and destructive cycles. All five of the elements correspond with a certain color and some of the elements will use more than one color. Here are the five elements and their corresponding colors. Wood. The wood element represents growth, development and planning. This element resides in the east and southeast areas of your space it is associated with the brown-green color spectrum and the columnar shape, fire. The fire element represents expansion, enthusiasm, and transformation, and provides energy to things that are career-related. It will also assist you in being recognized in your achievements. This element resides in the south, 
northeast and southwest areas of your space. It is associated with the red, orange, purple, pink, and strong yellow color spectrum and the triangular shape. Water. The water element represents easiness, abundance, freshness, calm, and purity. This element can be used in the north, east, and southeast areas of your space. It is associated with the blue and black color spectrum and wavy lines, earth. The earth element represents stability, nourishment, and protection in relationships. It can be used in the northeast, southeast, and center areas of your space. This element is associated with the beige and yellow color spectrum and the square shape. Metal. The metal element represents accuracy, clarity, and efficiency and can be used in the west, north, and northwest areas of your space. This element is ideal for your home or business and is associated with the white and gray color spectrum and the circle, oval, and crescent shapes. Cycles of Feng Shui The productive and destructive cycles control the five elements of Feng Shui. Wood is part of the productive cycle that is produced by the element of water. The cycle continues with the creation of fire, earth, metal, and water in that order. The cycle maintains a positive flow and complements each other. Even though it's on the opposite end, the destructive cycle has just as much prominence as the productive cycle. Anything that is negative or contributes to decay is removed, and this makes way for things that are positive and will help in the feng shui process. With this cycle, wood is responsible for separating earth. Earth, in turn, soaks up water, Water douses out fire, fire melts metal, and metal cuts up wood. This too is another cycle that goes around in circles and doesn't stop. You will need to use different colors for each direction. A. East and Southeast dominant green. B. South dominant red. C. Southwest dominant yellow. D. West and Northwest dominant white or metallic. With the directions and color schemes, alternate colors can be used for the basic ones. Blue and black can be used for the east and southeast, and anything in the red family can be used for the southwest and northwest. Anything in the yellow, beige, and brown family along with any combinations can be used for the west and northwest. White is the color used in the north because metal creates water. In the south, green can be used because wood creates fire. The colors don't have to stand by themselves. They can be supplemented or combined with others to create powerful statements. With feng shui, you must keep balance and harmony, as these attributes are needed in order to keep the flow of qi in a positive format. Yang energy comes from the element of fire and is represented by the color red. Other things that help to provide more energy are candles and lights. If you want more intimacy, earth energy would be needed. Things that contribute to earth energy can help your marriage in a positive way and can also help you in different relationships. You can use items such as crystals and ceramics and items made from earthenware to enhance this. Metal is also one of the yang elements that has a positive effect and can also help with the flow of qi. With feng shui, flowing water is considered to be quiet and relaxing and helps the qi flow in different areas of your life. As with water, the flow doesn't stop and you can use this to implement energy into your home. As the water represents wealth and prosperity, this element can be used if you are starting a new career or want to advance in an existing one. Implementing an aquarium or water fountain can give positive vibes in certain areas of your home. One area, however, that water is not recommended for is the bedroom. The wood element connects with your home and garden, and you can place wooden objects in certain areas, including near plants and flowers such as a wooden bench, in order to obtain more energy. The colors of feng shui. Black. That's the color of mystery and provides protection and strength. It symbolizes nighttime and represents an empty space. It provides intensity to any area, and if used often, it can translate into a heavy atmosphere. This color can be used in the east, north, and southeast, but you should not use much of this color for a child's bedroom, and it shouldn't be used in the south. If you are trying to attract career opportunities, place this color in the north area of your space. Black can also be combined with white and used on furniture. Brown. The color brown is used in the east, southeast, and the south, and the energy from this color provides plenty of nourishment. It can be associated with different foods and drinks, such as chocolate and coffee. Brown can also be used for the common areas of your home. You should not use much of this color for a child's bedroom or the southwest area. Green. 
This color represents revival and a fresh start and provides nourishment, healing, and keeps peace in your life. When incorporated with Feng Shui, you should use different shades of green instead of just one. Incorporate plants that have fresh foliage and use in the south, east, and southeast areas. Red. The color red is associated with the fire element, which is a symbol for sun and life and the energy that comes from it. It represents passion and celebration and can be considered both as a creative and destructive aspect. With this element in your home, you can experience happiness. The Chinese use the color red for happiness and luck. In India, the color red is used for marriage and weddings, and in the West, the color red stands for romance and courage. When decorating, the color red is used for richness, although careful consideration has to be implemented not to use too much red, otherwise it can provoke anger and excessive stimulation. With feng shui, red can be used in children's bedrooms with caution and can also be used in the common areas of the home, such as the dining and living rooms and the kitchen area. Red can be used in the east, southeast, west and northwest areas of your home, but you should limit the amount you use. Red is a perfect candidate to use in the south, orange. The color orange is known as the social color and is responsible for providing the energy from feng shui to engage in spirited conversations and to have good feelings in your home. When the winter season approaches, it can be a reminder of the summer season, 